Hello and welcome back to the tutorial series. In our previous series videos, we looked at creating a trait, creating buffs, and creating actions and loops. Today we're going to take all those lessons and make an example trait, and we're going to see how it works in game. To get started, again, you'll want to click on your constructor, which is the mod constructor version 4. And once the mod constructor opens, you want to name your mod. Now I'm going to just call this example mod and then click the create mod button. Since we went over all the steps in previous videos, this one is going to go a little bit faster. If you want it a little bit slower, please feel free to revisit the previous parts in the series. Okay, so we're going to click add element and we're going to add a trait first. And I'm going to call this example trait and then click create element. Okay, so as a refresher, when you create a trait, you can either have it as a personality trait, you can have it as a gameplay trait, a hidden trait, or a trait that's added to all um, sims at a time, which is more so of a global trait. Um, personality traits are added to sims at random. So whenever a sim or town or NPC is created, they have the op opportunity to have this trait generated for them. Okay, so you'll see these different categories. We'll just say social. We'll pick, click the icon, and we'll just add a test icon. And again, this is going very fast because we covered these steps in a previous video, and I just want to show you guys how this works in game, taking all the steps we've done previously. Okay, so now I have this trait, and you'll see here again we have our core buff. I'm going to click open element, add component. And we're going to add some social interaction. So again, this is going to give you actions that only can be done by people that have this trait. Okay, if you click the plus symbol, you have a new trait. Brag about greatness. This will stay a friendly interaction. And for the animation, you can either change it or keep it as is. I'll change it to Enthuse. Um, if you've watched the previous video, you'll know that you can also set global test conditions. So, for example, let's say relationships. Target relationship. And we're going to make a required bit. Okay, so this is only going to be able to be done by people that have met. So you have to introduce yourself first to a sim before you can use this interaction. Okay, we're going to click open element for brag about greatness. We want something to happen when we do this. So I'm going to add something. I'm going to use an in game option. Let's do reputation. Um, so whenever you do this, let's say you gain a large amount of reputation. We're just doing this for test purposes. Okay, so now we've added a loop. We've created a trait. And we can now export it as a package. So now you'll want to navigate to your Sims 4 folder. And then to your mods folder. Okay, so I have now created my example mod, and I'm going to load up the game, and we're going to take a look at it in-game. Okay, now that we're in-game, I'm going to create a new game, which will take us into Create a Sim. Okay, so we'll just go with our generated sim. Now, we created our trait, and we put it in the social category, so I'm going to click social, and here's our trait. We have the icon we chose, we have the name. I didn't put a description, so that's why it's blank underneath. Okay, and we'll just pick randomly the other trait. Okay, and then an aspiration. Okay, failed. Okay, so now we're gonna just quickly go into game. Okay, so I'm in game with Hannah, we just the person we just or sim, we just generated. I ran into a neighbor and introduced myself. So now I'm going to click on the neighbor, click on 
friendly, where we put our trait or our interaction for the trait. And then I'm going to click more choices. And there it is. There is our trait, brag about greatness. So let's pull up the panel for reputation. Since we added a loot or action for that particular interaction, let's click on the action, brag about greatness. Okay. We fast forward. The interaction is happening. And you'll see it went up a little bit based on the choice we chose. So that's basically how it works. Um, I'm going to include underneath this post a zip file that you can use to play around with this yourself. Um, you can edit the mod that I created. So right now I'm going to pause and I'm going to open up my constructor and show you how you can use my sample example trait in Added it to your liking. Okay, in your mod constructors folder, when you open up the folder that says mod constructor version 4, you'll see there's a folder that says mods. This is not the mods folder that is in your Sims 4 folder. This is the mods folder that is in the mod constructor version 4 folder. Just want to make that clarification. When you click on it, you'll have folders. That, you, that will contain the mods you've created. So for example, if I were to delete this and open up the mod constructor, you'll see it's empty, there's no mod. So if you wanna take my example mod that I created and use it for your own to play around with, you will use the file I have included called example mod. And you'll want to use an extractor I use um, I use a couple of different ones. WinZip works, WinRare works. Um, WinZip, I just use the most. Uh, and then you can click Extract to, and then you'll choose where it will go. Again, it will go in your mods folder under Mod Constructor, not under your Sims 4 mods folder. So if I click Mod Constructor, since it's our, at the top level, I'll choose this. And you'll see it goes into the mods folder. Now, if you want to drill down specifically into mods, like for example, if I double click this, then I can click extract to and then go directly to the mods folder. As long as you have a folder that says this Sims model simmer underscore example mod in your mods folder for mod constructor, then you'll be able to open up the example I created. And let me just click on constructor. You'll see there it is. And then you'll be able to click on my example mod, click on my trait, and you'll be able to go around and play around with this trait. Again, what I did today is I created example trait, I clicked on the core buff, and then I added a social interaction. All of this was covered in the previous videos in the tutorial series. And if you go back and watch those again, it'll give you a, a from beginning to end um, direction on how to proceed and create this. I hope that was helpful. Um, the next video in the series, we're going to continue going through the different elements that you, you can create in the mock instructor. And uh, once we're done all of those, we're going to go into advanced mock creation. All right. Thank you so much for watching.